we would like to send a very special thank you to the sponsors on the screen. It's because of your generosity that we are able to keep messages coming. To those who have not contributed yet, we only ask that you at least give a one-time gift. It can be whatever amount you like as we love to see new names. Thank you. Before the echo, the solitude, the zigzag lightning, play the games in the universe. I know before there was a win or where, or a thin or there. I know, I know before the foundation of the earth. Let, let everything. Let everything. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just before we pray, I want you to pray with an attitude. You know how you have an attitude sometimes. And it's usually the case that you develop this attitude as a result of something. Something somebody did to you, someone somebody said to you, the way you were treated as a, and some people just wake up with one, you know what I mean? <laughs> I want you to pray with an attitude. And this is the attitude I want you to pray with. That I'm going into this new year believing and knowing that it's going to be the best year of my life. Thank you, Jesus. Now, is there anything wrong with that attitude? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Then, with the right spirit, the right attitude, each person can prophesy. Prophesying is merely foretelling something that's going to take place before it happens. That's prophecy. Prophesying doesn't deal with the past. It deals with the future and the present. Now, you need somebody to prophesy to you something positive, something special. And you might not get what you want to hear, but I wrote this down before I came in here. What kind of a year will this year be for me and my house? What kind of a year will this year be for me and my house? Praise the Lord. You can determine your future. You can determine your future. The Lord say, I set before you a blessing and a curse. Which means you choose which one. I set before you two things, a blessing and a curse. This, this is God. So if I choose the blessing, if I choose the blessing, there's no demon in hell can cut that blessing off. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I want you to choose. I say to you and to every one of you in 
those in the land of television. I want you to be a prophet, a prophetess. And I want you to prophesy your future. The devil have already planned it. And so has God. For those whom he foreknew, he predestinated. So has God. No weapon that is formed against you can prosper. So has God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take someone by the hand. And if you have the faith to say it, then you say it. This is going to be the best year of my life. This is going This 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 is going be the best. Oh, oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, bring it to pass. Bring it to pass. Bring it to pass, Lord. Bring every hope Satan has. Break every day. Break every shackle. Break every chain. Break every yoke, Jesus. Break every fetter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, do it, Lord. Do it. Do it because I believe you're able to do it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you, Satan. I rebuke you blocking demons. I rebuke you hindering demons. I cast you out of the way. I send you to the pit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so shall it be. And so will it be. And so shall it be. And so will it be. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you believe in prophecy, if you believe that God can bring your words to pass, then you praise him now before we get here. Praise him before we get here. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, bless the name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, when you think about what you got coming, you 
And then you think about what you prophesied. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. shall read in concert. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. From verse 1, the entire congregation together in concert, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God shall set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all the blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If I shall hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall I be in the city, and blessed shall I be in the field, and blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and of thy flock, and of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall I be when thou comest in, and blessed shall I be when thou goest out. The Lord shall call thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command blessings upon thee in thy storehouse, and in all thy setteth thine hand unto, he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all of the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swear unto thy father to give thee. That the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heavens to give rain and the land in its season, and bless all the works of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. The Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if thou shalt hearken to the commandments of the Lord thy God which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand and to the left, to go after other gods and serve them. God bless you. Go back to verse 1 and 2. And it shall come to pass, 
If thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Note all these blessings. Share, come on thee. All. You know what you prophesied. All. All these blessings. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, these blessings shall come on thee and shall overtake thee. In this 1997, the whole world of all races and creeds religious and otherwise, have made some type of resolution, ah, some pledge. They have done something relating to 1997. Some have looked into a crystal ball and have had the psychics to read them and to tell them what their future is going to be. The Christian family is no different from any other group of people. We are made of the same material that everybody else is made of. And we are part psychic too like everybody else. So, uh, we want to know what does the future hold for me? What is my future? I'm a person who wants answers. I have to have answers. I can't live without answers. And anywhere I don't get an answer, I put one in there that suits me. Praise the Lord. Because he says, I can ask for whatsoever I will, and it shall be done unto me. But I don't see any space for me to add in when I read these words, all oh, these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. Now having said that, then he details the blessings. In verse 4 he said, blessed shall be, thy, shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kin, and of thy flock, and of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy what? Basket and thy store. Blessed shall thy be when thou cometh in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goeth out. Good Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. A blessing like that designed by God for his children gives me that unction to lay claim to what's mine. Certain things belong to me. It's a gift from God. Hallelujah. It's a gift from God. And I want what's mine. 
I don't want Satan messing with nothing that's mine. And that that isn't mine, let him take it and run with it. Praise the Lord. I don't want it if it isn't mine. Praise you. But I want what's mine. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And the blessings of God belongs to the people of God. You'd be surprised to know how the saints are fought by the forces of darkness simply because of what you got coming. The devil know what you got coming better than you do. Thank you, Jesus. You know that God's a miracle worker. Say it, I know that. Oh, thank you, sir. So you don't know more about God than a person filled with the Holy Ghost. A person filled with the Holy Ghost knows he's saved and sanctified. And Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized and all that kind of good stuff. But Satan know more than that about God. He, the anointed cherub, walked among the coals of fire when his name was Lucifer. Been closer to God than any angel in heaven. Knew about his actions, his ways. Knew about his expressions. Knew about his seat of authority and power. God shared this with Lucifer. Then he did not share it with any other angel. All the other angels were messengers. Go take a message. But Lucifer was not a messenger. He was like God's spokesman. Praise the Lord. This powerful creature knew God's omnipotence. He watched him create the heavens. He watched him meet her, meet, meet her out the heaven with a span and comprehend the dust of the earth in a measure. He watched God. Hallelujah. Stretch his plumb line from north to south, from east to west, and pull the world together around that plumb line. And spoke out of himself and said, Let there be, and there was. He emulated him so much so. Until it went to his head. He was lifted up in pride. That he thought of himself as God. Because God had given him such authority. And such power. To perform. So if there is anybody know. What God can do. Say to know what it is. Praise the Lord. That's why. You find Satan telling Jesus, praise the Lord, say, you come here to destroy me before the time? Praise the Lord. Satan knew that God has a time to drop him into the bottomless pit. Thank you, Jesus. And he thought God had got his time mixed up. So he said to God, say, you come to destroy me? Before the time, I know you got a time set to get rid of me. You casting me out everywhere I turn. You kicking me out of this house. You putting me out of that house. And you pulling my kingdom down over here. And praise the Lord, hallelujah. You making me loose folks I didn't intend to lose. What is this? You, 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 you going to torment me? Before the time, the Lord says, shut up, Lucifer. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. You don't know nothing about my time. You just loose and shut up and don't talk no more. I don't need you to tell nobody who I am. I will make myself known to whoever I want to make myself known to. Praise the Lord. I am the El Shaddai, 
And I don't need you all dirty stinking Lucifer to talk about me. I have a blessed folks here and there and they will talk about me. Oh, praise is adorable. Somebody can talk about it because you know where he brought you from. Praise is adorable. You know what he got you out of. Praise the Lord, the mess you were in. The situation you couldn't get out of. The devil had a noose around your neck. Was ready to hang you. And the Lord cut you down. Praise the name of our God. And told the devil, loose this one. Let her go. Oh, Somebody tell him thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I praise you, hallelujah. Thank you. So Satan, know what you got coming. Oh, hallelujah. And he knows that every one of you sitting here got a miracle coming. He knows it. Praise the Lord. And those of you that are sitting out there in the congregation with your head down, praise the Lord, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to raise your head high. Praise the Lord and say to that demon, blessed shall be my life in 1997. Praise the name of God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, sir. I'm going to be blessed in the going out. I'm going to be blessed in the coming in. I'm going to be blessed in my basket. I'm going to be blessed in my store. I'm going to be blessed in my body. I'm going to be blessed in my house. I'm going to be blessed in my soul. I'm going to be blessed in my mind. I'm going to be blessed going out. I'm going to be blessed coming in. A miracle going to come up behind me and say, you sent for me. Somebody better look behind you. Something is coming up from behind you. Praise the name of our God. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And anytime God say to you, all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you, the devil know God ain't playing. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. But you don't know it. Now you read this. You read from verse 1 through verses 14. 